Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally the brand new version of Kenji NX emulator has launched which brings huge compatibility improvements especially for low end android devices along with that bug fixes and lots of changes. In today's video we will be setting up this emulator and testing out some of the highest end Nintendo switch games like the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Pokemon Sword and much more. But before getting started if you guys don't already know Kenji NX is basically the continuation of Ryujinx emulator for android devices. Ryujinx android was released once the Ryujinx emulator was closed off and Kenji NX aims to bring major improvements which it has already done and it is officially the best Nintendo Switch emulator for unsupported Snapdragon processors and even Mali GPU Android devices as it fixes most of the major graphical issues, provides amazing performance and lot more. So the latest Android release of Kenji NX emulator was released few days ago and it is the Kenji NX 2.0.4.1. In this update finally the biggest issue has been fixed inside the Kenji NX emulator where because the NCE was turned on most of the games did not boot especially on low end android devices. So by default in this brand new update you guys can see NCE and PPTC have been turned off by default. Now native code execution provides better performance and better graphical output but inside the Kenji NX which is the Ryujinx android port it was just causing freezing issues and game not opening issues. So that has been fixed along with that cache eviction has been added to fix memory errors with many games low power PPTC has been added and the emulator size has decreased along with that open AL audio has been updated. With that being said I have already updated my Kenji NX simulator inside of my Android device so we'll start setting it up I'll be showing you guys the best settings and gameplay test so once you update the simulator go to settings and here in terms of CPU if we just go and scroll down native code execution has been turned on as we had used Kenji NX simulator previously because of which a configuration file has been created by default that's why native code execution is turned on but if you remove the old version of Kenji NX and add the new one you won't face any issues native code execution will be turned off by default and if it is turned on then make sure to disable this option for better compatibility on low end android devices if your games are not starting. But if your game start with native code execution then that's very amazing. It means that you will get amazing performance and that is very important. We'll also enable GIT cache eviction the brand new setting which has been added. Afterwards we'll go to graphics, shader cache has been enabled, resolution scaling we'll set it to 0.5x for today's video just for educational and entertainment purposes. I do not recommend you guys to try out 0.5x resolution. If you have a decent android device you should go with 1x graphics resolution. Anyways DRAM size we have set it to 8GB. We sync is unbounded and performance mode has been enabled. Now still there is no FPS meter unfortunately in the input controls or anywhere else so we won't be able to see how much FPS are we getting and there is no stretch to aspect ratio feature as well. If there was then we could have been able to emulate our switch games in a full screen aspect ratio. Anyways let's start with the first gameplay test which is going to be the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's see if this game opens and if so then how well does it actually work. Now this is not the fork version of Yuzu Android so this is completely this is something completely new and amazing and here as you guys can see Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is about to start and surely enough as you guys can see our game is being loaded which is a very great news. If everything goes well then we will be emulating one of the biggest Nintendo Switch titles of all time. So here we go our game has successfully started and I am using an Android device with a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. Now in 8 Elite most of the time Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gives huge graphical issues like seriously huge. These graphical issues which you are seeing are very very minimal because 8 Elite does not support the custom Mesa Turnip Adreno drivers which is why you will see more graphical issues but in Kenji NX Simulator this is actually very low like compared to any other folk of Yuzu Android. Kenji NX Simulator Android has the least amount of graphical issues on Snapdragon 8 Elite. And don't forget that it also supports custom graphics driver. If you are using a low end android device it will be very beneficial. Now one problem which this simulator does have is its stuttering issues. So unfortunately Kenji NX simulator is not completely stable in terms of performance. It does have stuttering issues. But that should be understandable because this is a project that is in its early stages. This is just the version 2.0 of Kenji NX simulator. And there is so much more to come in future for Kenji NX android. Let's move on towards our next game which is going to be Pokemon Sword and do let me know in the comment section down below if I should load a save file in Tears of the Kingdom and play the open world gameplay as well instead of just the closed world. So let's try out Pokemon Sword and see how well does it work compared to previously where it was stuttering quite a lot. So here we go our game has successfully started as you guys can see Pokemon Sword. Let's begin and immediately we have been loaded to the place where we last left off. Previously it used to have lot of stuttering issues if you 
गाइज हैव वॉच माई लास्ट केन जी एन एक्स सिमिलेटर वीडियो यू नो दिस टटरिंग इशूज वेर ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द शेडर कंपाइलेशन एंड इफ यू ट्राई आउट प्लेइंग पोकीमॉन सॉड ऑन एनी स्नैप ड्रैगन एट इलिट डिवाइस यू विल नोटिस लॉट ऑफ ग्राफिकल इशूज विच इज नॉट द केस इन साइड द केन जी एन एक्स सिमिलेटर बट इफ आई हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस आई विल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट द परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट दैट गुड एज एनी ऑफ द यूज इमिलेटर एंड्रॉयड फोक सच एज सिट्रॉन और इवन द इडन इमिलेटर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द परफॉर्मेंस it offers compatibility and stability and definitely i would be very interested to test out this version of kenji nx on my low end android devices as well so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about it i'll see you guys next time peace out